Hey there, welcome back. Uh, this is Jag from Modern Work Consulting and Training. In the last few videos, we've been talking about Microsoft Planner and I've been showing you uh, various aspects of uh, Microsoft Planner on the web uh, browser. So you're just seeing the web experience. So in this video, I wanted to actually uh, do a quick review of the Planner app. Okay, so if you haven't downloaded the Planner app on your mobile and uh, you, you do have Office 365 in your organization, highly encourage you to download the app because it is actually a, a very good uh, app. It's the, uh, the features in the mobile experience are really good. So let's ha actually have a, qu a quick look, all right? Uh, I'm just jumping on my iPhone. So um, I only have an iPhone at the moment, so uh, I'm guessing the experience in the iPhone is pretty similar to the Android experience as well. So if I get a hand, uh, if I get my hands on an Android phone, definitely I can, I'll, I'll actually make a similar video. But for now, let's see the mobile experience in an iOS device. So here we are on the actual planner app. So the first thing you see when you uh, log in using your Office 365 account is, um, yeah, you know, the pl in, in the planner app, you see the planner hub, you know, that gives you a quick uh, view of all the favorites that you've created and also the recent plans that uh, you worked on and so so forth. So you can also see there's an there's actually a link down below which says see all plans. So for, the, for that, you, if you go there, you can actually go and see all the plans within your organizations which are either public or you have access to them. From here, you can actually go and say you can create uh, favorites. Once you do that, uh, yeah, it automatically gets shown in your favorites. Not only that, uh, within the planner uh, itself, you could actually go and search for plans, okay? Uh, let's say I wanna search for something called end game. There it is, it's automatically there. So it only searches for the actual, uh, the name of the planner, right? It doesn't actually search for the contents within the plan. It doesn't search for things like tasks and so on. So that's where uh, it needs to make an improvement. For example, I know there's a task called um, Melbourne Airport. So if I go and search for that, nothing. Nothing comes up, so right now nothing comes up. So anyway, so it, it only searches for the plan titles. Next up, uh, within the from the planner hub, you could actually go and create a, a planner, a, a new plan uh, from there. Let's we'll look into how creating a new plan. But before we do that, just let's look at the other tabs that we have here. There's my tasks. Uh, and it, it, it's again a similar experience to what you get in the web experience. Uh, you, you see all your tasks that are assigned to you here. You can actually see I'm actually logged in as Megan Bowen as a demo account. Uh, and you can actually see all the accounts, uh, all the um, all the uh, apps, sorry, all the tasks in, all the tasks within. Uh, uh, I've got uh, my little one <laughs> knocking on the door. Anyway, uh, so let's keep, keep, keep progressing. So, uh, you can see all the tasks which you've got assigned to and uh, from from within the actual uh, filter option you could actually go and group by either the progress which is the default experience or you could actually group by the um, the due date and it will actually show you you know the tasks which you you know uh, which you're late on or you know future tasks or no dates assigned and so on um, if you if you open up a you can actually click on one of the tasks and it'll actually open up the task uh, edit task option and from here you can actually say add a comment uh, it's coming soon something like that send or you can also go and change the progress to say in progress to say completed or and so on so that's that's pretty much um, it let's actually see I'm not sure if I've never actually experienced uh, if you can actually add attachments so you can actually add, add attachments like so take a photo from the gallery or you know, add a link and so on so let's quickly take a photo of uh, of, of my of the laptop take a photo use photo there you go that's it's uh, it's got one attachment so you can actually add multiple attachments as well um uh what else that's actually quite good because you can actually use this for you know first line workers or people who are on the move to finish their tasks uh, um while you know even without having access to their laptops and so on um, the next up is uh, from my tasks uh, you, you know just having a quick look at the settings it's not really um, 
uh, feature rich in this. You, all it does is it gives you some legal options and then you have, um, you know, ability to log in and log out of your Office 365 account and then that's pretty much it. So now let's head back to the Planner Hub and see how you could actually create a new plan. So from here, you can actually go ahead and say, I've just clicked on the plus icon there uh, and it brings an option to create a new plan. So let's create a uh, plan called For the Thrones. Uh, in the mood for uh, Game of Thrones. So I'm actually doing, I'm actually watching, <laughs> uh, re-watching the whole, uh, the previous seasons of Game of Thrones. So um, so let's let's use that. Um, for the Throne season eight plan. All right, so now go ahead back and click create. It's a public um, plan. So now I can actually add people. Um, let's add a few people in there multiple people let's see if we got anyone else so uh, yeah let's add John uh, Jordan done it usually takes a little while for for the plan to be created and 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 do remember that uh, you're actually provisioning uh, the whole office 65 group provision is happening in the behind the doors right so it usually takes some time there you have it uh, it's it's done its job it's it's created the um, the plans for me so usually what i do i actually change rename the first uh, to the to do one which which is good it allows you to do renames of the buckets so let's say um defeat sorry if i can spell it right defeat um, the night king this is a plan to defeat the night king so now i can actually say next capture the throne um, and so on. So with Defeat the Night King, let's create a few tasks here quickly. Um, make mine dragon glass. Um, what else? <laughs> no, I, I'm struggling to think about uh, the sequence of Game of Thrones. Uh, anyway, um, uh, make Winterfell seize proof or something like that. Um, speak to Bran. You get the idea. So now I can actually go and, and actually make a, a, a checklist in here as well. So um, uh, get to Dragonstone or something like that. Um, you get the idea, there you have it. Um, actually, just on that, if I actually go and you can actually even click on the three dots and you can actually show that on the card, uh, which is good. Next up, uh, you can actually assign this to Jordan or even multiple people. Um, what else, you can set a date. Uh, as a start date, this due date is uh, 14th of April, I think it is. Bam. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, from a, you can see the the checklist is actually shown on the um, on the on the card itself. Uh, the one thing that I want to show with the plan itself is you can actually see all the uh, in, in a, a summarized view within the actual charts option. Uh, which is good. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. I, I think it is it is pretty uh, feature rich uh, from uh, managing uh, your tasks within Microsoft Planner. Uh, but the thing though is it doesn't actually support uh, the ability to create multiple plans and copying plans and things. These are the new features that uh, got released in the web experience uh, not not long ago. Uh, these uh, those features are actually not available on your mobile application yet. Um, that's it. So if you haven't, uh, like I said, if you haven't downloaded uh, the app uh, itself, uh, if you haven't downloaded the app itself on your mobile, uh, in, on your mobile phone, I highly encourage you to download the Planner app and start creating some plans and tasks, uh, and and uh, you know support your team, uh, team task management.